This is a tutorial on managing the autopilot in the new Lionheart Creations Learjet uh, 24B. This is your main Learjet uh, autopilot management panel. It's located between the seats and the center console. And then with the new Lear 24, they came out with um, a remote instrument panel set of switches, uh, the autopilot remote controls and um, basically you can turn them on from here your various uh, systems in the autopilot but you couldn't turn on the system from there your system is turned on from here your engage button is here and when it's on the screen light will be on now if the green light won't come on your autopilot isn't arming it's because your inverters are off if your inverters are off then your autopilot will not and that is because you have powerful servos that manage the um, control surfaces of the aircraft and they run on AC power and they take a hefty amount of electricity so the inverters need to be on and then your autopilot will work. When you're doing an autopilot flight and you're in navigation mode if you're using a, a flight sim uh, GPS mode uh, your GPS nav switch is right here and so you'd switch that into GPS mode. This little baby this uh, dials in your altitude and you can mouse click the uh, the numbers to lower it and adjust you know lower it and raise it or you can use your mouse wheel that's what I use and it's the same with the um, the thumb wheel for uh, your adjustment of vertical climb and descent you can use mouse wheel or you can just click you can go to autopilot panel directly face it directly by clicking the A button when in VC mode click A five times one, two, three, four, five then you're facing the panel and if you back select it five times shift A five times you go back to VC and then also you have a pop-up of the uh, management panel by hitting shift 6 you bring it up it makes it a heck of a lot easier now on this um, on this pop-up panel you'll notice that uh, the buttons it's hard to tell if they're up or down so what I did was I discolored them darker because when you push on a button it's going to be close to the surface of the of the panel so they get darker so when a switch is on it's dark and so like let's say your heading is on it's dark see which ones are on and which ones are off. Now on a Lear jet you have yaw dampers and they're extremely important. Make sure that your yaw damper is on during all flight conditions except when you're landing. When you're on approach, you're on final, switch that off. When you're flying, that needs to be on. What happens is you can go into a Dutch roll. She goes, she starts zigzagging back and forth and um, so you need to have your yaw damper on at all times during flight. In this section of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to grab a um, beam, um, a VOR course heading. And it's fairly easy. Right now I've got my autopilot on. And she's set up at 12,000 feet altitude. Now, I want to uh, grab the Marconi VOR over on Cape Cod. I've just, just left the coast of Boston. And so I would select frequency 114.7, and that's done. And so now we go over here to the CRS, and we dial in. heading. Now you'll notice that that little directional arrow and the uh, front main facing arrow they're both matched up. If this arrow were backwards then uh, that's not right. You know, that would be for a back course following a beam outwards. So anyway that's our beam. We go over here to our nav GPS button and make sure that it is in nav position. We go over here and we turn on nav mode. Our 
aircraft should now engage the course. system is arm. Uh, we have nav capture and altimeter hold is on. Pretty sweet. And she's aligning herself with that exact radial course. She'll take a moment to uh, get adjusted and then she's going to fly right over to there, right where the little VOR station is. And then we'll need to set up a new VOR hop point. And that's basically that. This is an example of um, a typical approach. We're coming in to uh, Niederhain and we've set up our frequency at 110.7. Our course heading is 272. Close in here, 272 degrees for our runway heading, which we programmed into our CRS. And so we're gonna turn on auto, or make sure autopilot is on. Autopilot is on. Well, yaw control is off. We're gonna go ahead and turn on approach mode. And it appears our aircraft has found the beam. Light slope is armed. our gear up alarm. Let's go ahead and add some flaps. Clear jets, they uh, are pretty slick little aircraft and they're very high powered, those big engines, so slowing them down, we're going to add a little bit of spoiler. Slow down a little bit. There we go. We've got two notches of flaps. Coming in at uh, 130 knots, we're looking really good. And as you can see, we're riding the beam, we're on approach. She found it pretty quick. And right before we, uh, we touch down, we'll turn off autopilot. And as I said, shift six will bring up your autopilot. Zero throttle. 